Hi guys! Hi everyone! Welcome to Make2 and another episode of our Minecraft Let's Play on the PC. We've been searching for a very long time and then we found what we were searching for and then it was very very hard to get what we were searching for at home. We started off with two dogs yep. and then we kept two dogs up and down for a while and now <laughs> <laughs> some things happened and now we have four dogs which is amazing we have more dogs than we started with which is great and i have four for a very particular reason yeah because i want to make sure if i lose one i don't get into trouble because and even if i lose two because i'm careless i won't get into trouble it's not that you're careless it's just that we have no <sighs> idea what we're doing <laughs> yeah Hi, i Shadow love Facts. that your horse is like on the <laughs> yeah. roof of your building here yeah, so, so based on past experience, we have realized that it is better to have more dogs. What is going on with the horsey? Boop. Boop. Oh. <laughs> anyway, we have realized that it is better to have more dogs than fewer dogs. So exactly. that's what we're doing. Now, it's been a bit of a while since our last episode because we had just very frustrating times trying to transport these dogs. Mm. Turns out the only real surefire way of transporting them, which won't take... Uh, days and days and days is by having a lead but there are issues with our version of the game we had to redo our reinstall minecraft and get our save in the right place and now we're pretty certain if we have a lead everything's going to turn out wonderfully well but we don't yet have leads because to make a lead as we said back in our uh, main home you need slime and how do you get slime you find slimes and slimes are only in the slime chunks now it turns out this is the little home we made just before we were going to head off back home but these poor little fellas can't swim very well so we had to come back to get them and anyway, it turns out just in here right by this pillar there's actually a slime chunk nice a really big slime chunk so the reason it took a while to make an episode is because i wanted to build a pretty big slime farm thing mm -hmm. uh just a hole in the ground between you can see between here and here i built a slime oh my farm gosh wow and all the way underneath and i was like why don't i just I had some time to kill because I needed the dogs to grow up so I could breed one of them. I was like, okay, let's just dig a hole. And this bit was easy. I actually started from over there. Yeah. That's where we'll go down. And I thought, because last time I made my slime from at home, nothing, no slimes appeared. And it was really frustrating. Yeah. And if you get too close to them, they don't spawn. So I thought, I want to have a look at a little peephole where I can look down and see what's going on. Now, normally, <laughs> when you look down, you don't see anything. Right. There's nothing there. Right. But I promise you, I was watching here for like a few Minecraft days and I did see something flick past that pretty sure was a slime. Could it like be a, monsters though? It could be a monster, like maybe a skeleton. It could have been a zombie. Skeletons aren't quite that shape, but I'm pretty sure it was more green cube shape. Okay. So I think we're going to have luck when we go down there. If I, How so, are we going to get down there? So this is the pillar, so I know I am. Uh -huh. It's getting dark. We're going to head in daytime just so we have full time. To go down, you can see there's our hole got all the way it. down. Got it. You've been productive. Uh, yeah, you've got to go below 40. But it turns out, you know, slime chunks are 16 by 16. This one, there are six of them together. Mm. So that's 16 by 16 times six. So that's really long way and kind of a wiggledy pattern, mm -hmm. which is why this is a little bit of a strange shape. I didn't hollow out all of it, but I did hollow out a lot of it. It was also next to a big cave. So that helped quite a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but then I also went through and I put torches down. So I made a whole bunch more torches. So that inside the caves... Ooh, so tempting to lock you back in these shadow facts. So then all the caves, they're less likely for monsters to spawn. And the less monsters that spawn, the more likely it is that slimes will spawn down in my hole. And other monsters hopefully won't spawn because there's lights down there. So monsters don't like lights. The only monsters that like lights are slimes. Cool. Okay, that was a good long uh, explanation. Yeah. The reason that we're doing all of this is because the version of Minecraft we're running is 1.8.9. In our version, you cannot transport pets by boat. Uh, we know that you yes. can in other Minecraft versions. The reason that we haven't updated our game to other versions where you can transport pets by boat is because why we would have to restart the whole yeah world. the map just wouldn't be the same i'm not quite yeah. sure if our world would be the same i did yeah. actually go into 1.11 i think and see what the map looked like mm -hmm. and it was actually really similar i was surprised how similar it was but some things were definitely different okay where there's say a bridge over a chasm yeah uh with our abandoned mine that bridge is now not a bridge it's just 
the ghost nothing it's just got a hole in it so basically so, it would break our world a little bit if we tried to update to a different version yeah because the algorithm they use to do make the world i guess differs very slightly between versions mm -hmm. and to be honest i haven't tried it the other thing is in different versions of minecraft i can't get these beautiful textures and shaders and all the light doesn't look quite as fancy because the mods that you're using for some reason they don't yeah i can't work get them to work okay. with my computer with different versions of yeah, Minecraft. I mean, we honestly think there may be something wrong with our yeah. Minecraft because, like we said at the start of this episode, we had to reinstall because leads. I don't know, something Ooh, wasn't working. I like a squishy noise. Like our temples, Ooh. and we couldn't find slime chunks before, but now we have now found them. So I think I think it's reinstalling the game Ooh. has helped us. Well, yeah. You were dead. <gasps> they're so Ooh. cute. I know. They want to kill me, but they're still cute. They're, they're very cute. Uh, wait, how how small do they get? This is as small as they go. Oh, we got... So, this is awesome. We're doing well. Come on. Come on. You can do it. They're so cute. <laughs> and they're slow. <laughs> <laughs> That's helpful, yeah. Well, this is a lot These of These are slime. the perfect enemies. Do you know how much slime you need? I think I need one slime ball to make one lead. Mm-hmm. Okay, wow. Oh, cute. Nice. Any more? Oh, wow, got all this a lot. Experience. Oh, right, experience. Yeah, it looks wow, the same as these, slime. I really like slimes. <laughs> I'm going to, when I get, this is, this is going to be a good farming thing for getting XP, I think, killing all these slimes. If I can just farm them. Let's see. We have seven slime balls. We need two. Okay. I mean, I'm glad that this works because when we sure went digging. I can digging, hear something spatting about. Because when we went digging for slime before, it didn't work. And, like, we couldn't find any. And so I think, yeah, reinstalling the game might have uh, helped us out with this because we just had something glitchy going on before. Yeah, it's pretty easy to just install different versions. I think I've got, like, four or five different versions going on right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got two that are 1.8.9. Yeah. This one, uh, for those who are super interested, has Forge installed and then the shaders on top, which I couldn't get to work for the longest time, but now I have. So... Yeah, the game is identical. I just literally copy and paste the save game from one game folder mm -hmm. to the other one because I keep a different folder for every version of Minecraft just to make sure things are okay. So we now... Oh, I hear our dogs. Please be okay, dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Get worried about them. They're okay. This glass is just... There was a hole down there and I had spare glass. I covered it up. So... Wait. Oh, no. Where's one gone? Did one follow you or something? Was no, that they were all sitting. What, what the uh... chimney? This is why you need so many dogs. They just disappear. They really oh. should just stay where they are. Okay, let's make a new one. Oh, crumbs. Like, that, literally, there was a baby dog there. Oh, okay, now you've got your four. Wow, Sit okay. Sit the other one down. Yeah. Maybe you should make more than four, because, like, imagine if you come back after and like, transporting and they're gone. to... Yeah then you're a bit um, in trouble. So I think the more the merrier and just sit them all down and hopefully, you know, <laughs> you'll have at least two if you ever have to come. Okay, let's go into our house. We're now going to make, try and make some leads. We only need two leads. I have some string because there are some spiders. Uh, actually, when I was doing caving, I found a bunch of spiders. So that's pretty good. And we've now got, let's take our spare slime home. Mm -hmm. oh, we don't need actually this... Uh, piece of glass that's good now we are actually ready right now but do you want to wait for these dogs to grow up so we can leave more than just two behind i mean just keep mating and have like maybe a couple more puppies and you know okay. they'll grow up whenever they grow up i guess so we'll be back in a little bit when we have some more pups <laughs> okay guys we are back and i've done some housekeeping I decided to make a sort of kennel. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, well, actually, let's just make the kennel part of the house. <laughs> and let's make it a stone. So They're the all tilting their heads identically. <laughs> and, I just, and I just did it automatically myself while looking at them. So <laughs> there are four of them here. Now, again, there were two outside. I had four little pups, two out here. I heard like, oh, 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 as if one was dying. Oh, Don't no. know what went on. I came outside, ran around, couldn't see it. I put up what? this protective wall. Um, maybe it got caught somewhere. Oh, I just don't know what's going on. So basically what we're going to do today is we are going to get out of Dodge. We have one pup. We have one. Where did he go? Oh, no. Like. There he is. Okay. <laughs> okay. We have one there. Right. I managed to get 
One these adult. three, yeah, one of them's grown up. These three are babies. Come outside. And what we're going to do is leave the three babies in there. And I know it's cruel, but let's see. Come on. Okay. Here we go. So my hope is they're tucked up tight in there. Nothing can get to them. Mm-hmm. And I think the quicker we get away from... We need leads. Where are our leads? The quicker we get away from it, hopefully the others are going to be safe. So we're going to put a lead onto that one, a lead onto that one. And now I saw our boat like a minute ago. <laughs> I was like, oh, we don't need to make a boat. Our boat is still there. Okay. Oh, gosh. Let's get ourselves a quick boat and then let's move. Okay. Boat. Right. Okay. Shut the door. Goodbye, fellas. So we're going to take these two. Frodo and Sam. Frodo and Sam. Number, like, the original. six. <laughs> yeah. And we're... G- <laughs> Shh. Uh, <laughs> We're going to take Frodo and Sam the original, and we are going to hightail it out of here. Now, I know it's cool we've left three behind, but the plan is we get these two safely, then I come back off screen, pick up another two, and go back home. Because mm-hmm. I'm so worried about... if we Oh, only gosh! Had... You're going so fast, oh, no. they can't even keep their heads in the water. No, they're, they're doing fine. Okay. They're doing fine. <laughs> if I only had two, and we went back with two, and something happened to them on the way, we'd then be stuck with only one, and there's nothing we could do. So hopefully... Yeah. They'll be okay back there. We've got a yeah. little bit off course. Let's course correct a little bit. And we also have to be careful on this ocean journey to avoid those temples because we got yeah. like really hurt by avoid the guardians. Avoid yes. temples. Yes. And other than that... Oh, we have a little hovel here. Did we build this? <laughs> yeah, this was when we were experimenting mm-hmm. about whether or not we could transport the dogs in any meaningful way by going slowly over land. Do you remember? Yeah, we uh, were... We cut that. We recorded <laughs> all that and cut it all because it, was just, it just wasn't working. It was really tedious. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The problem is that the dogs despawn, right? Um, yeah, when you get we too travel, far away from yeah, them. Yeah, exactly. When you get too far away from them, they despawn. And um, yeah, <laughs> they can't swim fast enough or at least they weren't swimming very fast in whatever version of the game we were running and they would just keep despawning we would keep losing them and it just took it took us a long time to figure that out it really did yeah yeah, yeah. and we thought maybe if we go very slow and maybe if we just swim we'll just get there and then because... we remembered how far we had traveled mm-hmm. and we can't go that slowly we have to go you know in a boat exactly. yeah we did a lot of research myself around a little bit <laughs> oh really <laughs> we're still heading in the right direction okay. i think we need to go in this direction <laughs> Yeah, we we spent a long time doing research on this whole thing, and yeah. hopefully this will work. Yep, yeah. and then we went into creative mode in our other game and said, okay, let's make a lead, and the lead worked on every animal apart from dogs. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, but, so after know. having tested that, we realized, yep, something is definitely wrong mm-hmm. with our game. And then we tried to not anyway. <laughs> long story short, we did a lot of traveling around for pointless reasons, but then managed to get all the dogs home again. Uh, and then we're just like, let's just stay here and figure things out. So I'm glad we have. And now we're on our way home. They're still there. This is going well. I don't really remember <laughs> the coordinates of those temples anymore. But I thought we wrote them down. <laughs> yeah, I know we're heading, you know, we're heading kind of south, I think. Oh, there's one. Avoid, ooh, avoid, ooh, avoid. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well spotted. <laughs> um... Because I don't want anything to happen to no. our dogs. Like, if the guardians attack our dogs, we are you know, done for. We're yeah. done for. Well, the dogs are the dogs are done, done for. for. If they kill the boat, we're kind of <laughs> done. I can't even see it anymore. Have we gone around it? No, we went past it. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna head this way for a little bit. I know it's a it doesn't look super. Okay. Okay, I think we're still going in the right direction. We are going... Towards yeah. land. Yeah, the Z direction is going down faster than the others. I think we're going to go this way. Ooh, Ooh. Goodness. What's, that? What's going to happen? <gasps> oh, I think this is the this is our first island we stopped at. Oh, cool. <laughs> we got here way faster than I thought. That's a lot of lava. Wow. I don't remember this I at all. I think we came from a different direction. Okay. Yeah, okay, let's go let's go this way around it, mine Mr. Squiddy. Yeah, okay, this is actually pretty cool. So I think because I got slightly off course, mm-hmm. I think we actually went around this island the wrong way. I think actually we went over there last time. Which that's where the first uh, the first underwater monument was. So we've managed to skip one of them. 
we definitely cut a really wide path around the other and we're doing pretty well. Now we've got to get to, I'm pretty sure on this Z coordinate, the third coordinate, uh, or sort of the third of the way down on the left, we've got to get that to minus 1600, so we have a way to go. But I'm pretty sure on the journey this way, until we hit this landmass, everything was pretty plain sailing. I think we got, well, I got lost the very first time doing it, so I was like, I'm just heading in the right direction. I don't think we bumped into anything dodgy, so hopefully we won't bump into anything dodgy on the way back. Oh, we are going wildly off course. <laughs> so that's the way to get in trouble fast. <laughs> oh gosh, oh. Oh, they, they caught up to the boat. That's yep. nice. Okay, don't I hope whimper. they're doing okay. Yeah. Okay, we've got to go this way for a little bit, and then we've got to turn to the left a little bit. I don't even know in the other versions of Minecraft how many pets you can fit in a boat. Like, if you can only fit question. one in a boat, then it wouldn't have been much point to it. I mean, we would have had to take more boat journeys, obviously. Yeah. This, least, whole, this yeah. whole thing reminds me of that riddle of, like, you know, mm. you have a fox, a scorpion, and a what? Something else. Like Chicken, three rabbit? three animals that you're trying to get across a river, but you can't leave, you know, the fox with the chicken because the fox will eat the chicken. You can't leave, like, the scorpion with the... I don't know. What, with the fox, yeah. We'll look it up. There's a particular we'll way of it, doing it. We'll put it in the video description, and you guys can read it and see if you can figure... Uh oh what's that down there? Something looks structured down there. I think it's just... I think it's just ground. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Um, I'm just trying to be no, careful. No, no. You're, you're right. Um, yeah. It appears anyway. me slowing down over it isn't the right thing to do either, is it? Um, anyway, so yeah. So it's, yeah, it's, so a, it's a whole that cool riddle, riddle. Yeah, about you gotta... how to safely get all three animals across when you can't leave, you know, two together because they might eat each other. Yeah. Basically. And there's yeah. particular... Yeah. So there's a particular order that you have to do it. We'll put it in the video description. You guys can read it. And let us know what your solution would be in the comments. That would be cool. Yeah. And no Googling. <laughs> I mean, obviously, if you have already heard of the riddle and solved it before, that's fine. But if you have never heard of the riddle, don't Google the answer because no, that's cheating. No, it's fun to figure out. Yeah. yeah. Figure there it out is yourself. a way to do it. Mm -hmm. And yeah. And there's different riddles. Like, they're all kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the cool thing is it's like actually the unexpected thing, like the thing that seems, I think for one of them, were about getting wounded comrades across a bridge. Like actually the, the thing that makes it work is not the obvious one, obviously, because it's a puzzle. But you think, oh, you know, it's interesting to know that in reality, sometimes the way forward is sometimes the way back. <laughs> Basically, the most straightforward route is not necessarily the best route. Sometimes you've mm -hmm. got to twist a bit. Out the way, Squiddy. So we're actually making really good time. I don't think I'm ever going to go this exact route again because I went in a weird circle, but that's okay. I just kind of keep hoping we're going to come across... Yeah, we're basically going on the right way. Uh, it's coming towards nightfall, so I'm hoping that we're going to make land pretty soon. And then, well, there should be a little lighthouse, if you remember. Mm -hmm. made a little lighthouse for us, and we're going to get there, and it's going to be awesome. <laughs> But I definitely remember us crossing a really long stretch of open ocean with no land. Yeah, that that was this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going still just about pretty much on target. Uh, just a little bit of course correct, get out of the way of the squiddy. I'm really impressed I haven't broken the boat. Right. Boats break pretty frequently. We're just about to cross zero, which is good. Uh, and we're going to, I think I'm just going to try and make it all the way to... Uh, our place this night and you know if there's stuff out there at night we have a bed pretty close by to our landings oh ooh, 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 be careful you know what i think <gasps> this means i think this means we're near land okay i'm gonna go around oh gosh <laughs> man they all just popped up oh there's more on your left yeah i think oh my gosh what why is this I, what? I think we're getting near a continent maybe that's what i thought last time i can see it looks like in the water okay, i can see yes. land okay where the Heck are we? <laughs> Why is this not our home? Is this our home? Where's that desert temple? Is it visible for this far away? Maybe it hasn't rendered yet. Um. Oh, you know what? I think we have to go. I think maybe we've got to go around a bit more. We've got to go through these things. We've got to go. Th keep going. Just keep <gasps> What's that? What's that? Oh, 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 oh. That's it. We're hey, here. Oh, my. Good justice. It gets dark. I was like, maybe there's another island. So beautiful. 
Okay. Wow. Wow. We still have a long way to go from here, but at least we made it to our continent. Yeah, actually, I'm just going to wait out here when we finish out the episode so I don't have to... Because it looks so beautiful. It does. <laughs> do you no. want to go, go on land? Um, I don't know. I was just wondering about the danger of Endermen, like, coming uh, across the water towards us. Oh, uh, crumbs. Only if we look at them. <laughs> right. Okay, well, we are going to make it home to land pretty soon with mm -hmm. our beautiful Frodo and Sam and... But hopefully by the time of the next episode, everyone will be home safe and sound. And that's going to be super awesome. So I hope you've enjoyed this massive journey we've made across the ocean. So proud of ourselves for making it and bringing our two fine feathered, fine, <laughs> what are they furry. called? Fine furry friends with us all this way. Uh, let us know what you thought in the comments below and stay tuned for more Minecraft. Thanks for watching.